a photo shoot because I got my passes for TI-8 and it is in less than two weeks and I'm so excited. Right, baby? She's so good at things going over her head now because of the collar. I think it's great, but those are actually pretty wide, so she shouldn't have an issue. Funny girl. Afternoon, it is Saturday, and today I plan on packing for TI. Um, I think it will mostly be, I'm gonna try to pack almost everything I can, so pretty much all my clothes, the shoes I plan on bringing, and a lot of my bathroom uh, stuff. I don't know what you would label that as, but that stuff kind of obviously has to be done the day of because I will still be using it all the way up until I leave. But for clothes, I don't see myself leaving my house that much next week because I'll be playing WoW and stuff. So me packing most of my clothes is fine. Um, a lot of the clothes I own are kind of like formal stuff anyway. So if I did want to go out briefly, I have like casual stuff. I can wear but the thing is when I first bought tickets for TI I was like oh man I'm gonna be able to wear all these nice fancy outfits and I'm gonna be seen by a bunch of people and it'll be nice but now that the event is actually almost here I actually kind of have adjusted my mindset where I'm like this is kind of gonna feel like work or it's gonna remind me of work where I'm going to be sitting for long periods of time and it is possibly going to be cold in the arena that's kind of what i assume because for me i get cold anywhere so there is probably very low chance that this arena is going to be at a temperature where it's comfortable for me i will probably have to bring some sort of light jacket but i have just been thinking about maybe wearing activewear to ti and i mean it's not a bad thing when i attend an event like that it would be nice to dress nice and I might consider it a little bit, but I actually kind of foresee myself not being comfortable if I dress that way. So maybe I'll try it initially, but I'm going to bring a lot of activewear just in case. And I honestly foresee myself wearing activewear for most of the event just because like I said, you're sitting for long periods of time. Even when you sit down wearing a lot of fashionable clothing for women, it's still very uncomfortable and it it sucks because um, either you're wearing heels so your feet are like this and you're sitting and it's, it eventually still gets uncomfortable or my jeans can be too tight so if I'm sitting for long periods of time my knees will feel cramped because there is not a lot of space there or it doesn't stretch very well where it's comfortable and there's no pressure yeah I'm probably going to grab bubble tea first because it's hot out and it feels refreshing and also because I kind of feel like I sometimes get bubble tea at the wrong times like oftentimes if I go out for lunch with my coworker, I get bubble tea afterwards with him because I'm like oh it's right there and we're out so why not and it's always something I kind of look forward to but after I get it after eating a whole meal I'm like god damn this is like I can't drink all of this because sometimes bubble tea itself feels like a meal there's a lot of drink when I get a large and tapioca pearls probably just um, make you feel very full or something like that so getting it on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of the day sounds better where I can just like sit on my computer and enjoy it um, I kind of foresee there being a little bit of a line but you know I don't really care <laughs> I just feel like going out and getting it really quick and then when I get back I will start packing. Honestly, I don't see my packing taking very long, which is nice because I don't have that many clothes. So I'm probably just gonna take all my folded jeans, put them in there, take all my shirts off the, uh, take my shirts off the hanger and just like fold them and put them in there and then I think I'm good, pretty much. Should be very easy. Um, I will just kind of try to organize the documents that I have to bring for Riley. Uh, I plan on putting that in my backpack that I will be taking with me because putting in the luggage doesn't make any sense. I need those documents with me because she will be with me and in case I get any inquiries about her, my emotional support animal letter, or her health documentation, any of that, I just need that on me at all times. And also my passport. I think I have them all lying in like a cabinet down there that I just like put together uh, for this event 
months ago because I was like, I'm not going to put these documents in some random bumfuck location and then months later I'm going to forget where I put it. So I think I know where they are and I'm going to make sure that they're all organized and I have everything I need. Uh, I will be taking Riley to the vet on Wednesday. Um, I think it's like at one o'clock. So that one is just for her health checkup. I don't know if she needs any shots for that one. I kind of already forgot what the doctor told me when I went two months ago, but I probably have to bring some of her poop to that appointment just cause I think they're checking for something. I forget exactly, but I'm not looking forward to that. But once I get it over with, then everything will be set for the trip. And then I will be very happy about that. But uh, I still have to pack my frozen food for her. I was still considering earlier today that I could just go there and buy some because I did, I did find a raw food dog pet store or whatever the hell you want to call it in Vancouver. But it seemed a little bit far from my Airbnb. Like I would have to Uber and I think it might take a while because it's the city. Um, I'm still not a fan of the idea of bringing her food in because I don't know if that's going to cause extra inspection, like they're going to open my bag and be like checking the label to make sure it's made in the USA and like all this other shit, so uh, I'm, I'm really nervous about bringing Riley, <laughs> but uh, maybe once I do it once, especially out of the country, then I won't feel as nervous in the future, who knows, but I get anxiety a lot. So this is totally natural for me to be thinking of these things, but all right, I'm going to go out. Okay, got my drink. That wasn't so bad actually for a midday trip. Sometimes I think I overreact internally, mentally, whatever the hell I'm trying to say when I think of bubble tea, because when I think of bubble tea during the day, I'm like, oh shit, there's gonna be a line out the door, but it really wasn't that bad. But now I'm going to go get some dumplings. I'm going to try to because I never go to Asian supermarkets because they're always so crowded and I don't want to, you know, only go at night or something. Like, I don't want to purposefully go to an Asian supermarket at some random ass time where I normally would not be there. So you can't deliver from Asian supermarkets yet, <laughs> which sucks, but I feel like dumplings would be a nice little fast meal for next week for BFA and I realized watching one of my older vlogs that I haven't had dumplings in forever because I don't go there at all and I don't like being there their lines are long their lines are slow to check out so I hope that today will not be as bad all right I'm gonna head over god damn I feel like today life is trying to make me feel like the world is not as bad because I was literally in the Korean supermarket for honestly I would say less than five minutes sometimes I feel like when people see me around they think I'm some weird person because I if I'm running an errand I tend to try to rush it so <laughs> I park in the supermarket parking lot and then I just run into the store literally running and then I speed walk to the frozen section, grab my dumplings, go to the cash register, and I'm just, I'm just really, I act like I'm in a rush and like I don't really take any time to stroll and just like walk slow as fuck or any of that. I just get my shit done. So I was in and out within less than five minutes and I bought two big bags of Korean dumplings. So... This was just like a brand that I started trying years ago in New Jersey from H Mart, which was my supermarket of choice while I was in New Jersey. There is, there is an H Mart here, it's just further north so I don't want to drive further. Um, but I have two big bags. Originally I was just going to buy one, I was like, oh I should definitely not need, I wouldn't even eat all of it next week I don't think because that's just a lot of dumplings. But since I never come here, I might as well just try to stock up too. It's probably a fair amount, but I feel like I could probably go through that pretty quickly. But um, I'm kind of happy that I got all of my stuff done kind of quickly. And it's not even that I had that many errands. I just like decided to detour here because 
I was like, I completely forgot about dumplings, that I used to eat them fairly often, and I really enjoyed eating them. Just uh, not all the time, because if I eat the same stuff a lot, then I do get kind of sick of it. Hi, you're so cute. Like this sweater, you want to look good, shot tripping. You know what it is, you know what it isn't. Booties! Okay, here is my progress so far. I'd say I've taken down like half of my tops from the hangers and I packed nearly all of my jeans. There's still a few in there, but the pairs that I have in there are not the ones I like as much as the ones that I've already packed. So I have like all my jeans are stacked up under here. Then I have some puppers. Your nose is so invasive. So I have, um... I guess I brought like three pairs of denim shorts. Maybe I'll bring one more pair, a blue one that's like more easy to pair with everything else. And here I have like a bunch of, I had, I put a bunch of my active wear leggings underneath. I have a few other pairs that I can bring as well, which I probably will just for diversity and easier to pair it with stuff when I have more options. Here I have some tanks for layering. Um, these are pretty much all of my tops. I probably will bring a few more tops. I have those jackets on the right hand side, like the white one all the way to the right. Ew, so small. Oh. Uh, okay, so I plan on bringing this vest. I love this vest. People have definitely seen me wearing this vest before, but it's kind of dirty. This white top also I wanna bring, which is a little bit the fancier one, the one with the slit short sleeves so these two are kind of dirty i haven't washed them or dry cleaned them in decades well for long as freaking time so i actually might go to the dry cleaner um sometime next week probably on monday early morning afternoon or something during my lunch break before bfa drops because well i could go tomorrow if i feel like it we'll see what i feel like but um I have three dresses here I'm probably not going to bring. These don't really seem suited for something like TI. This dress is Diane von Furstenberg. I bought this many years ago and I actually love this dress. Like it's a body con dress. I think that's what the name is, but it really hugs your figure and I think it's beautiful, but I don't know. When I wear this dress, I tend to feel like it's very formal looking and people are, ah, oh, man, I fucking love this dress. I really wish I wore it more makes me sad. This dress is also kind of like formal-ish looking that I don't think I should be wearing to the event. I need more dresses that are more uh, casual because I really like just putting on a one piece. It's very easy. So sometimes maybe I should buy some rompers too. My issue with rompers, rompers are basically a one piece where it's like you're wearing a short sleeve and a sh pair of shorts that are connected into one. But the thing about rompers is I can't wear those to work. So when I buy items like that, it feels kind of pointless because I can only wear it on the weekends, which is similar to my issue with um, my Valentino heels. Initially, I was kind of not positive about buying my Valentino heels, the, the um, studded ones that are tan nude colored, the ones that I love, that I wear a lot when I'm dressing up. but. I mean, those are beautiful. I like them. They're actually quite comfortable for heels, but since I can't wear it to work, sometimes it ends up sitting in my home <laughs> for a while, and then it kind of sucks because I'm not really wearing it out and making good use of it, or it feels that way. But, um, yeah, you know? Let me put this down. My hand gets tired very easily. But yeah, you know, I am loving this minimalistic lifestyle more and more. The first thing that I started off with in terms of minimalizing was my furniture because when I first moved here from New Jersey, I did not bring any furniture 
except my computer chair. That's the only piece of furniture I brought here from New Jersey. So once I got here and I settled down, I decided to only buy a computer desk, a couch, and a TV stand because those are pretty much essentials. And, you know, I actually don't have my own mattress yet, the one I'm using right now. Shane is lending to me and, you know, it's been over a year since I moved here, so it kind of sucks to still be using it. And I guess it's not a big deal because he doesn't have use for it, but I feel uncomfortable at times using other people's things because I haven't gotten my own and I don't really like that feeling. But just in general, like when I moved to this house, um, I think some people were very surprised. Uh, the people involved in the moving process were very surprised by how little things I had. Like I did my moving in two parts where I first brought over all of the non-furniture stuff that I could and I would just bring it here like my clothes, all my kitchen stuff. I brought it ahead of time. So on moving day for my furniture, it didn't take very long. I think it took like two hours and most of that time was just for the furniture. So that kind of made me realize like if I keep things minimal, it's really, really nice because moving is very stressful. It takes a lot of time, but if you have a fraction of the amount of things that other people really have, you kind of realize that you don't need all that much stuff. So something that a lot of people tend to have is a dining table, right? And my parents always nagged me to get a dining table, but I, I think realistic where I'm like, not many people will be coming to my house because I don't have many friends. And because of that, I'm not going to buy a piece of furniture for guests. Dining table is the furniture that I would only be spending money for, for guests to use to eat if they come to my house, which is rare or never. So that would be a big waste of money because I just eat at my computer or I eat on the couch. I just hold the bowl, it's not a big deal. Clothes as well. So clothes is kind of a conflicting thing for me. And I've talked about this before because I love fashion, I really do. I like to look nice. I do it for myself. I do not look nice for other people. It kind of like raises your confidence and at the same time, like because my lifestyle is not suited for wearing nicer things because I don't go out very often and I don't go to like clubs or parties or I don't, I just don't meet up with people, right? So when I look nice, it only lasts like an hour or two depending on what I choose to do when I'm wearing that stuff. So at times when I look at like the stuff that I buy, it kind of makes me sad that it sits in my closet and I don't wear it very often. And I think about how much I spent on each article of clothing. So lately I have somewhat thought about selling some of it. Um, definitely some of the dresses that I showed earlier because I really don't wear them often. The white Diane von Furstenberg one though, I, I just really like that one, so I probably wouldn't sell it. And she is also a designer that is kind of more expensive. So the fact that I have like a piece of clothing from her collection kind of just makes me happy. And I love white, so that white dress, um, I probably wouldn't sell, but the pink one for sure, because I just, I don't, I, I've always liked it a lot, but I don't care about it enough to just let it hang in here. But a lot of these probably wouldn't actually gain me that much money. I would probably have to sell them for like less than $50 each, especially because they are used. I don't know. I, I just know that recently I have been spending way more time prioritizing comfort, which is a good thing. So when I go to work, I've been wearing a lot of active wear. I don't know if people in the office like don't like me wearing active wear, but I just feel way more comfortable. It's, it's much better because some mornings when I dress up to look nice and I go into work, by the time I come home for lunch and then I do stuff with Rylight, I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like sitting in this for four more hours at work. I'm gonna change into something more comfortable. So when I do that, it makes me feel even more that I shouldn't be buying more of these fashionable stuff. Um, in the past, I just have never really bought sweatshirts or t-shirts because they don't look fashionable. That was my thought process. And I was like, I want to only buy pieces of clothing where I can go out and look nice in them. But nowadays, t-shirts are really appealing. So are active wear. Um, I, I feel like active wear for me is not even active wear all the time. It's just comfort wear. 
T-shirts can still be really flattering though if they're the right cut and they are very form-fitting. I think they still look very great even if they are way more basic than some of the tops I have. I kind of forget why I started talking about this. Probably because I'm just like standing near my closet. But I am... I think I'm generally done here. I probably will wash a few of my shoes. I have this flat sneaker. It's not necessarily a sneaker, but it's just white and it's a little bit dirty. So I want to wash it because I will probably be wearing it at TI maybe a fair amount because I'm not going to be wearing heels to the event. I don't think so. I mean, I could always wear flat shoes walking to the arena and then I would change. But I don't really know if I need to try hard like that seriously. So um, need to wash some shoes. I'll probably just let it soak in the sink for a little bit because um, the texture on the shoe is not really the type you want to rub too much. So I'll probably see if letting it soak will help remove some of the dirtiness off of it. But yeah, I mean, I had a feeling this would be quick. <laughs> it's I, I would probably still finalize a good amount of it next week because it's just way too early to try to do everything. But I did most of it, so that's good. It'll save me a lot of time. Wow, you're not doing it, poppers. Speak. Hee <laughs> hee.